previously on this channel, this is what I recorded. Check out my pins, comments, and my description box and the end cards to see this video. Hi there, I'm V. Today we're going to be uh, doing another pick a card reading and this one is on will you be happy in this connection? Will you be able to grow in this connection? If you're new, please subscribe. I post every single day. If you're not new, thank you for always coming back. I appreciate you. Power one, will you grow? Will you be happy in this connection? Power one, you have nostalgia. Focus on the here and now. That's for you, Power one. I'm also going to assign crystals for each pile. I always recommend uh, going with the intuition first um, before I place the crystals. <clears throat> See which one you really resonate with. Okay, pile two, pile two. Will you be happy? Will you grow in this connection? You have thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve. And pile three. Will you grow in this connection? Pile three. Will you grow in this connection? Will you thrive? Will you be happy in this connection? Sundress, do it for you. Alright, these are your three piles. Now for the toppers. I have these cute little uh, Shopkins. Pile one, you're going to have berry jam. Pile two, you're going to have muffin. And pile three, you're going to have the green apple. So these are your toppers. Let me know which one you chose by leaving a comment below. If you need more time to select, pause the video. Timestamps are always going to be pinned in my comments and in my description box to skip ahead to your pile. Or if you want to watch the full video, that's okay too. Pile 1, you chose Nostalgia with the jam. Focus on the here and now. I'm going to see what it means intuitively with this image, but for right now, these are the words, the bonus, and the jam. Let me know why you chose this, this pile, and also, please keep in mind that this is a collective reading. This is not, this is not a specific, tailored really reading for your energy. If you want something more personalized for you only, check out my Etsy shop. And I also have my email on the screen. You can contact me for more information. Also, please use your own judgment if I give any advice. Feel, figure out if you need to take it or not. You have your own free will. You don't have to go by my advice. And nothing set in stone. Things are always changing. All right, let's do this. Will you grow? Will you be happy in this connection? Will you grow? Will you be happy in this connection? Will you grow? Will you be happy in this connection? Power number one. Will you grow? Will you be happy in this connection? High Priestess. Power one. Will you grow? Will you be happy in this connection? Five of Wands. Will you grow? Will you be happy in this connection? Will you grow? Will you be happy in this connection? King of Pentacles, will you grow? Will you be happy in this connection? Pile one. Top of the deck, you have the Two of Cups. All right, bottom of the deck, you have the Emperor. Oh, snap. Nice. Let's do that. Let's see that Emperor come through. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. The High Priestess tells me that your intuition says that this is the right connection. That this is something that you can thrive in, that you can uh, explore in, have fun in. There is a hiccup here, Five of Wands. Your, your higher self understands that this is something that you have to put effort into. That even if you guys argue or have disagreements or don't see things on the same page, or even don't agree with certain topics or values that you guys can stick this through, stick it out, and come out a winner. Come out with it. The champ, the emperor, the lion king, or the lioness, queen. 
<laughs> so Spirit says, yeah, it's not an easy cakewalk. Relationships take time. They take they take a lot of effort. You got to be able to communicate, eight of wands. You got to be able to see eye to eye and, you know, keep the fun dating life alive. <laughs> Two of cups, don't forget to keep dating your partner. Even if you have five kids, six kids, whatever, or one. I see a whole animal kingdom here, so you could have a big family. Three puppies. Um, keep this, the, la the, the, the conversations going, get to know each other, really explore each other, travel together, you know, uh, share hobbies, interests, day-to-day um, -day activities together, share those deep heart-to-heart -heart, uh, passions or, or conversations that, br <clears throat> that bring up, you know, emotional vulnerability. And also, t talk about, like, the good stuff, like, and the bad stuff. Like, how do you feel about what's happening on the other side of the country? You know, like, those deep, deep conversations. So let's see. Why is the High Priestess here? Also, there's a lot to be explored and seen with this person. So I see a lot of growth, especially because the King of Pentacles is here. And the Emperor... He didn't become the emperor overnight. He went through a lot. So let's see. Hold on. Why are these, why are these cards all like... Okay. Why is the high priestess here? Uh, keeping the fun alive. You know, dating each other, like I said. Or, you know, having a movie, popcorn at night. And just, you know, spending time together. And then talking afterwards. And... Yeah, this is a connection that you're going to be so happy to be in. Why is the High Priestess here? The producer, this is the magician. Yeah, there's, there's magic here, there's creativity here. You feel like you have it all with this person. Look how free Barbie looks right there. Wow, so you have these two people uh, sharing a conversation. They both have coffee. Then you have the Two of Cups here. He's serenading her with his piano, and in the Two of Cups, they're also sitting together, looking eye to eye, having a drink, sharing cups. So, a lot of uh, fun times, a lot of intimate moments, privately, publicly, um, fun memories here. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here? You have, for the right reasons, Seven of Pentacles. So you, okay, so the Five of Wands clarifies, is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. This is um, you figuring out what needs to be improved, what, what needs to be changed, what needs to be figured out. Um, working out the kinks, so let's say that, you know, you have a problem with how your person, uh, you know, talks to your family. Or you have a problem with your your person coming over and then leaving crumbs everywhere when they eat whatever it can be small it can be big this is you assessing this situation taking stock like okay this is what bothers me this is what doesn't bother me this is what i appreciate this is what i appreciate and you saying look i appreciate this i want to start off by saying i appreciate this and then going into it well you know there's some things that you know bother me a little bit and it would be it would mean so much to me if you blah 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 blah. Or I feel that you blah 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 blah. So going from a place of how you're feeling about this thing that you're having a problem with, um, what you feel that you need to address before you, you let it you know, bottle up, jam. Before you bottle up, think about your feelings, think about why it bothers you, think about is it worth fighting over or is it worth talking over? Is it something that you can just get over? Or is it is it something that really, really ticks you off? So, yeah. And, and also, if certain things, you know, if things bothered you in the past and you're still simmering on it, you're still bottling up, this is you figuring out how to address it, how to squash it and get over it. Now, if it's something big, like, I don't know, like, let's say you guys moved in, but now... Your person's on the phone and keeping you up at night, all night long. You're like, oh my gosh, this got to stop. 
uh, I can't sleep. I know you want to talk to your kids, but like, why it doesn't have to be at 11 o'clock at night? Then, you know, those are the things that you have to talk, talk through, you know, like just really put in the work, really uh, take stock of what is important to you and what is not. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? You have the Page of Wands, Free Spirit. So you are able to grow and thrive and have fun and be creative in this connection. You feel so happy and you feel so at ease. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Fast communication. You guys could be traveling as well. This is the star. So you guys can be traveling. I see uh, lots of drinks being exchanged here. You guys could be um, meeting the family, meeting the friends, or just having those get-togethers with those loved ones. Uh, you know, conversating. You guys can be move in, moving in together. Uh, yeah, exploring a new adventure. I see, I see, yeah, bike ride, but like the chariot. So, fast movement. You guys could be moving really fast, or you guys could be... That's just how things are progressing in your relationship, where it feels like things are finally moving along. The star is healing, feeling hopeful, optimistic, inspired to keep going in this connection. Two of Cups is clarified by the Two of Cups. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Two of Cups, Two of Cups, and you have them drinking coffee. So this is you guys being romantic and loving and sharing those deep uh, topics, those deep uh, feelings. Wow. You have Ace of Pentacles, first date. Yeah, like I said, keep on dating. Don't let things get all boring and stale. Even if you, even if you guys have been, you know, together f for like five months. Don't get don't let it get too comfortable and boring and stale. Keep the fun alive. The Emperor is clarifying by the Four of Swords. The Emperor feels at ease. The Emperor feels like they want to rest. Ten of Pentacles, having the home life, the fun, fun, fun family life. Like dogs playing, the kids playing, nice music playing in the background. Uh, the neighbors coming over and asking if they... Uh, can borrow sugar <laughs> or bringing you a home cooked meal to welcome you to the, the the neighborhood you have the wow you have the empress and you have the emperor the emperor is feeling very um the king of wands here and what else ace of cups first kiss the emperor is feeling like they want to provide that they want to continue putting emotional energy into this and masculinity and and taking care of this 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 kingdom that you guys are building and um keeping the fun alive and just feeling like home they want to feel like home with you let's see what the advice is for this connection thank you spirit thank you spirit this is beautiful claim this if you feel the vibes claim this if you feel the vibes All right, the advice for you is care for others and let them be free. Horse, yeah, nurture this connection. There you go. Again, I see more, more, more heads here. So you might have a big family or you guys might, um, you know, blend your family. You guys might make a family. You guys might have a lot of friends, mutual friends. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for letting me read for you. Hope this resonates. If not, it's not your story. Check out another pile if you want to. All the decks that I use will be linked below. And if you're interested in a personal reading, check out my information on the screen or on Etsy. Take care. Hello, pile two. You chose <clears throat> thorns. Weave together the crown you deserve with the muffin, blueberry muffin. All right, let me know that you visited by clicking the comments below. A comment below. Please uh, sh like and share this video so we can stay in the algorithm. I appreciate it. And if you're looking for a personal reading, check out my information on the screen. Let's get these positions right. So, dear reader, this is a collective reading. This is not anybody's personal reading. 
and if it doesn't fit that's, that means it's not for you check out another pile or another topic another pick a card topic video <clears throat> things are always shifting also so I can see one thing now and then tomorrow it's different energies are always shifting and changing improving so also if I give you an advice you can use it if you want to or you don't have to use your own free will and judgment better judgment let's get started can you grow can you thrive in this connection <clears throat> power number two can you grow can you ha be happy will you be happy will you grow will you thrive in this connection power two you have uh, two of swords will you be happy will you grow will you succeed in this connection seven of wands will you be happy will you grow will you succeed in this connection ace of cups Power number two, will you be happy? Will you grow in this connection? Death. Will you grow? Will you be happy in this connection? Nine of Pentacles. And then in the bottom you have the Eight of Swords. Okay, friends. So this tells me that you also got the lovers here. But I feel it's going to come after this, this connection you're in. I will put it here too. Just so we can see the end result. So, I feel like this is what this is saying is that <clears throat> no, this 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 relationship for you will only keep you stuck. Will only bring a little bit more uh, rose-colored glasses energy. More having to always defend yourself, or having to explain yourself, or having to. Um, Excuse my dog, she's missing my daughter. My daughter's still sleeping. Every morning I come out here, I do my reading. My dog is uh, okay for a little while, but then she starts whining for my daughter, and, and I'm like, she's still sleeping! I have to keep explaining. So, excuse me. So yeah, this is a connection that I feel must come to an end. Or this, this, whatever is happening with you it must come to a halt or end or it must change drastically. Drastically, if you want to grow and thrive and be with, with the sun. I feel like what this is saying is that you've given your all. You, uh, you, I don't know, like some of you just feel like you can't see a, a way to be happy. You've, 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 you've put the fight in, you put the work in. Um, eight of Swords, you can't see another way out of this or a way to improve. If you tried your best, you just don't feel complete or happy. You, there's still love there, but is love enough? Something has to come to a change, like I said, because you can't see right, can't think straight, you can't um, focus, you can't like, you know, nest in and sit and be comfortable. Thorns, yes, I see it. Weave together the crown you deserve. So, Spirit's saying you need to make a change. You need to get yourself out of the situation. You need to uh, get together with your friends, your family. I see the roses. I see the death. The death card also has a rose. Um, right there on the flag. So, get together your roses, your, be your beautiful uh, belongings. Get, get together your friends, family, and let's 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 think about a game plan, an exit plan. What are you gonna do? Hope you're saving your own money so you can flee the scene. You can remove yourself from this and be independent. Nine of Pentacles. And then I feel like once you take care of business, you do you. You, you heal. You uh, figure out what you need to do for yourself, how to get your your life back on track. That's when you bring in true love, the lovers. That's when you bring in your soulmate. Your counterpart, your divine counterpart, your kindred counterpart here that you're supposed to be with and thrive with and grow with. But it's not going to happen if you're with this other person or if you're putting your energy into this, trying to fix this. You, I think you've given it your all. And now it's time to, um, you know, close this chapter. Now, for others of you, you're probably thinking, well, I'm married and we have a baby together and the baby's not even one yet. Or let's just say... How can I possibly move on? How can I possibly support myself? How can I possibly live without my person? That my person is all I've known. 
Well, I, you know, I don't know, maybe you guys don't even feel, maybe you feel like you, you can't do, you know, by yourself. Maybe you feel like you can't support yourself or your child. Maybe you feel like you, this is the only relationship that you've ever been in and this is what you need to, who you need to be with. I mean, maybe you're thinking, oh, my, my kid doesn't, I don't want my kid to be a, a, a product of divorce or a product of a broken family. Don't, well, let's not think of it that way. Your child will love to see you happy. Bottom line, they want to see you happy, not crying, not depressed, not sad, not trapped. If you're in a, in a thorny situation and you're not, you're not being able to, you're not, you're not able to be yourself. Unless if you're confined, if you're stuck, if you're physically being uh, tormented and abused, then you need to get the heck out of here. Spirit saying that in a big way. Get the f out of here now. Death is here death is here so you better change you better fi figure out how to remove yourself from this connect this connection the, the the strings are tied I mean the hoofs are tied there's blindfolds there's something stopping you you can break through this and I think you need to connect with a supportive team friends and family who people you can trust um, if it's that heavy you know or maybe you can stay with your fa family or friends for like, a, 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 I don't know, a little while until you get your feet and get to get back on your feet with your child. If you have children, if not, then it, it should be a little easier. Um, <clears throat> but Spirit's saying, re re regardless of the situation, you won't feel at ease in this, in this relationship. Let's clarify. Why is the Two of Swords here? 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 You have the front runner, the Knight of Cups. So you're you're probably feel, you're probably feeling blinded by love. Like, oh my gosh, I love this person. This person is my everything. My, this person takes care of me. This person supports me. This person tells me sweet things every 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 morning, every night. This person um etc 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 oh knight of wands sorry you know so you're thinking about the two of swords also tells me that you have two decisions here you have two decisions on one side you're happy or you try to be happy on the other side you're like oh my gosh I have I can't I can't I can't anymore but the knight of wands is keeping you stuck or the knight of wands is telling you sweet thing sweet things to keep you comfortable but you know that you have to go. <clears throat> this is you wanting to go. Sorry. Knight of, ro Knight of Rods, Knight of Wands, Knight of Roses. This is you. You got a lot of roses here, and you got Knight of Roses. So you need to know your worth and uh, think of a game plan to flee, flee this, this, this connection. Um, you're like, you want to go impulsively, but first think of a plan. Don't just go without a plan. Unless it's not safe. If it's not safe and you fear your life, go. Yes, the front runner, go, flee, run, escape. If it's a comfortable situation and it's, it's just that you're not happy and there's nothing dangerous about your relationship, then think of a game plan. Think of a, what are you gonna do? Where are you gonna live? Do you have money? Seven of Wands is is uh, clarified by the Moon. The Moon is here to say that you, yeah, you feel like you don't see a way out. You feel those he heavy emotions in the pit of your stomach. You feel your person's emotions. You could feel bad for wanting to leave. You could be even, like thinking, oh my gosh, this is a, is this a good idea? Is this gonna hurt my person? Uh, the Moon is just very hidden, deep truths here. So, you know, I would suggest working with the moon. When the moon's, you know, when, when the moon is bright, full, think, uh, try to think about your feelings and try to uh, understand what it is that you want to do. The moon will help you decide. When the moon is out, I get those true answers so much that it scares me. <laughs> And I shuffle my cards to help me get those answers out. And it brings out a lot of things that I don't want to see. And I'm like, oh, okay, time. shuffling over, okay. 
I, I want to see the sun again. <laughs> this is too deep. Ace of Cups is clarified by the single mom, the queen of pentacles. So, <sighs> I hate to tell you, but you might be single with your child, like I said. You might be a single dad with your child. Um, but, Ace of Cups, there's still something there that you have with your person, but you know that you have to, you know, be by yourself. Raise your kid by yourself. Um, or this is you just taking care of, of yourself by yourself. Not relying on your person. Single. Yeah, you need to just do your own thing independently. Like the Nine of Pentacles. Why is this death card here? Why Will you be happy? Will you succeed? Will you thrive in this connection? Why is the death card here? The Influencer. This is the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Nine of Pentacles is here twice. But the Nine of Pentacles is clarifying the death. So you have to make a change. This is an individual, personal change you have to make for yourself. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Paradise. This is the, um, the, the sun. This is the sun here. Wow. This is the sun. You have to make a change. You have to move. You have to see the lights. You're blinded. You have blindfolds on here and here. And you're not seeing the sun. You're not seeing the day. You're not seeing where your life could be when you're free. Happy and free. So how can we get to the sun? The sun. The sun and the lovers. The sun and the paradise. How can you get here? You have to remove the blindfolds. You gotta remove, remove the handcuffs. You gotta remove yourself. The, the self-sabotaging, limiting beliefs that you can't do better without this person. You can do so much better. Him or him and better still. Him better still. Him better yet. So if you can find this person and you have something beautiful, you can find it again and even better. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The jeweler, king of pentacles, see? There's somebody better out there for you. If you remove the blindfolds, you will see the sun. You'll be able to explore life through a new lens. Have fun. Feel happy. King of roses is, I'm sorry, king of pentacles is here. You're going from the nine to the king. So you're, you're leveling up if you come out of this situation. Why is the lovers here with a new individual? The, produce, the producer plant. So this is you, the lovers, this is a, a new uh, love, a new connection in production. This is a new um, relationship. The, the queen of cups, the caregiver. This is a new connection. And your person might call you back and look, say, I effed up. I'm the worst. I want you back. So while you're trying to get in this connection, your person might call you back. They might say... Oh, let's get through it. Let's just see the silver lining of it all. We did have good times. We did uh, do, um, we did, you know, say harsh things, but we'll get over it. That's what couples do. And look, Three of Swords is here, blindsided. And again, I keep seeing the word blind in my head, my head, my eyes. Blind, blind, blindsided, blindsided. Nine of Swords. So don't be gaslit. Don't be manipulated and sustained. Don't be coerced. Don't be persuaded. Don't let the person give you a sweet deal because that sweet deal will turn into a rotten apple So or a dead wilted rose. Don't take the, the roses because it looks nice. It's going to die. It's out of the water. It's out, No, it's out of the ground. So let's get back to your roots. Let's get back to how we can make you happy again, which is you uh, coming out of this and working on yourself. Now, don't leave this connection to all of a sudden fall into another relationship. What I'm saying is leave this connection. Take your advice. Take my advice and you can uh, chuck it or you can just consider it. Put it in your back pocket. You have your free judgment. You do what you wish. But this connection is, is, is done and over with. This, it's, it's just becoming a little more heavy and toxic and ugly or it can be. And it's saying you need to focus on yourself with the Nine of Pentacles twice 
And when you do that, focus on your body, your minds, your healing, your uh, your money. Get your money. Get your your bearings. Get your surroundings right. Get your your friends to help support you and, and talk some sense into you. Whatever you need to do to keep you grounded. Once you do that, you know, it's going to take some time. Then I can see this lover's energy coming through with the ring here. But we're not going from one relationship, bam, into another person's uh, heart or bedroom. That's not what we're doing here. That's, I don't see that happening here. This is after you have healed and worked on your stuff. All right, let's see. And don't be... Don't be, like, afraid of the healing journey, even if it's you being single for a little while. Don't be afraid of that, because you're going to realize your worth, your strength, what you're made of, your love for yourself. You're going to be like, oh, I'm not settling for this anymore. I've learned. You're going to be like, what the heck was I doing here? You're going to laugh about it, too. All right. That sudden is about you laughing, saying, what? What the heck was, was I thinking being in this connection? That's how you're going to feel. Kangaroo, be a force for good. <laughs> Be a force of nature. Be a force to be reckoned with. Kick back, kangaroo. Right? Kick back. And when you move out, out of this situation, you'll be able to kick back, too. You'll be like, oh, man, I feel so at ease. Okay, that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching. If you want a personal reading, check out my information on the screen. I have them on Etsy. I have lots of testimonials. <clears throat> I do readings all the time. It's my freaking hobby. I love it. It's my passion. It's also my livelihood. So if you would like me to touch your energy with my beautiful... Uh, lights and my beautiful cards then please do consider booking and reading with me if you want any of the decks that I use today they're going to be linked below we have 32 in our shop and everybody else's beautiful creations will be linked below as well I love to support other creators I thank you for your time let's head on to pile 3 pile 3 you chose the sundress do it for you with the green apple dear reader this is a collective reading this is not a personalized one so it may not even fit your story 100%, just maybe half of it. Please take what does and leave the rest for the next person. Also, I can be picking up on your person's energy and how they feel about this connection, if they can grow and be happy in this, or it can be yours. If I give you any advice, it's not a substitute for legal, legal business, medical, financial. This is spiritual advice from mine to yours. Use your free will. Figure out if you need to use my advice see me, by seeing if it feels right to you. All right, pal three, can you grow? Can you be happy in this connection? Will you? Will you be happy? Will you be able to grow in this connection? King of Pentacles. Oh, snap. Will you be able to grow? Will you thrive? Will you be happy in this connection? Hanged man. Pal three, will you grow? Will you be happy in this connection? Two of Wands. Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. Will you thrive? Will you be happy in this connection? Two of Swords. Okay. Alright, friends. Uh, what I'm getting right now is the fun. It's it you're gonna be in this connection for a little while. I think you're at the tail end of moving along. Making up your mind, knowing your worth. No, you're at the tail end of. Yeah, you're at the you're in the hanged man energy of you feeling like, oh, I don't know if I want this long term. I don't know if this will suffice forever. The fun is here. I'm having fun. I'm just hanging there, just keeping it cool. This is not too serious for me. Um, I don't see being content or emotionally fulfilled long term I do have choices this is how you're feeling like you have choices you're knowing your worth you know your your what you're deserving of and you're you're realizing this in this hanged man energy you have to do it for you so you right now this feels comfortable and safe but you're hanging there until you find the find your your money you get your money together you find your strength you get your minds right. You're fixing yourself to move and come out of this relationship. The fun was here. Like what I'm getting in my mind is the fun. It was fun until it was not fun anymore. It was fun while it lasted. That's that's the energy I'm I'm picking up on. 
and now that's it the fun is gone the love where's the love two of swords you i mean two of wands you have decisions to make queen of cups you there was a lot of love here you will always have love for your person but you won't feel like the love will grow or you feel like you're not in love you can still love this person i see it but maybe not be in love so now you have decisions to make. What do you do? Because you're look through your swords, you're feeling heartbroken. You're feeling like you're at a stuck energy. Two of swords, you're in denial. Like, nope, this is not happening for me. I can't believe I'm here. I put my all into this connection. I really wanted it to work. But I know I have to go. Two of swords, this is you. You're, like, you're in denial, but you're also having to make your mind. And you will with the two of wands. You will with the two of wands. You will figure out what, what steps you need to take very soon. You will. All right, let's see. I'm going to clarify real quick. Okay, let's clarify. Why is the hanged man here? You have the six of cups, butterflies. So you, you hang, you're thinking about the, the nostalgic feel of it. Like, man, I had so much fun. I... I can't believe we've been together this whole time. <clears throat> so, hangs man, you're assessing your 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 past. You're like, wow, this person has changed me, or we grew together, we learned together. But I know I that's as far as it goes, and we we <clears throat> juiced we we juice this lemon for as as much as we can juice this lemon. There's no more juice here. I need to move on. I need to change. So you need to change and come out of this relationship is what you're feeling. Uh, you can be comfortable here, but also grow to be complacent. And that's not healthy for you. So why is the King of Pentacles here? Like, we don't want to be in a relationship where you're just comfortable. <clears throat> there's no love. There's no passion. There's no good intimate moments. There's no healthy conversations. There's no, no progress. There's no future plans. What are you doing? What are you doing? And that's probably what you're feeling. What am I doing here? I know my worth here. I'm the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. I know my heart, what my heart wants. I love this person, and I hope they have, they get what they're looking for. I wish them the best, but I need to focus on me. Why is the King of Pentacles? <clears throat> it's here by Three of Cups, here to make friends. You guys, you know, maybe you want to friend zone this person. Maybe you also want to keep things peaceful and cordial and civilized. And and you want to make amends. And you guys want to part ways on the good note. On a good foot. On a good note. Not have enemies here, right? Because you just so have love. You guys can have a family too. So you don't want to just, you know, wipe them away from your memory, from your life. Ten of, uh, ten of, okay, so the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Cups. So there, <clears throat> I feel like there's going to be love here with someone else. My intuition is telling me to do it like this. Sometimes the cards come out all mumbo jumbled for me to put the pieces together in my, with my intuition. I feel like you got to make a decision here. Three of swords, two of swords, two of wands. And then you have your, your here at the end and end the finish line with the proposal, Queen of Cups, someone here. here you're going to find yourself in a situation where someone's going to love on you and give you what you, your heart has been wanting for a long time. But of course you got to get, <clears throat> you have to heal through the Three of Swords, of course, of course. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Moon. So the Moon, hidden feelings. So Three of Swords is still he healing your emotions. You're still healing your heart. Your feelings are still feeling... Your feelings are still affected by this connection. It, it might be bittersweet to move away from this. <clears throat> but you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't do it. Spirit's saying, yes, you can, my friend. Yes, you can. It's better. Him or better still, right? Him, better still. That means if you can find this person and you have such a great, great chemistry, great connection once upon a time, you can do it again. Ten. Take a risk. Look, destiny. This is the world. This is, I'm sorry, the Wheel of Fortune. Two of Swords, you're like, nope, I can't do better. I can't find better. What if I don't find somebody who loves me equally? Yes, you will. Wheel of Fortune is here. It's in fate's hands that you are going to find who you're looking for. 
and they're gonna love you unconditionally. Two of Wands. Why is it Two of Wands here? You have a path up ahead. You're at Crossroads. Oh, wow. Crossroads. Knight of Cups and the Hopeless Romantic. You know what this tells me? That while you're trying to exit this relationship, <clears throat> I feel like some of you are already emotionally checked out. Like you're already, it's already done. You just have to physically remove yourself. Physically, King of Pentacles. <clears throat> you have to physically remove yourself from this. You have uh, eight opening up. That's the strength card. You have to physically build strength to move yourself out of this relationship. But I feel like what's going to happen is um, <clears throat> some of you are feeling like you already, like in your heart, you're already over it. But you're not physically out of the house or out of this person's arms just yet. But what's going to happen is <clears throat> while you're still living with this person, Spirit's saying what's going to happen is that whether you're with this person or not, trying to make it work, or you're trying to get your bearings to move out of here, or to uh, part ways and to say your goodbyes, while you're doing all this, slowly, hanged man, you might end up meeting the love of your life, <clears throat> which will then complicate things, because you're still dealing with your ex here. So the Knight of Cups is coming, whether you're in this connection or you have parted ways, or not. So this Knight of Cups is on its way with a proposal. An offering, okay? So Spirit's saying, <clears throat> don't miss out on, your, on your, uh, your opportunity to find love and create something beautiful with someone new by figuring out if this is going to keep, if it's going to work or not. Spirit's saying, you already know the fun, uh, the fun was here already. It was fun while it lasted. Let's heal. Let's move on. Because when this new person, two of swords, you're going to have two different energies to deal with. And you might end up missing out on a great thing with this new individual. Because they're not going to be all about your exes. They're not going to be like, oh, you're still, you're still married. Oh, oh, really? Okay. I'll give my ring to someone else. Or take care of your business. Go get your divorce and then come back to me. But when you come back, you, you, the cir circumstance might be different. This person would have moved on. Maybe they gave a ring to somebody else. Maybe they said, nope, I don't want marriage now. Nope. Um, so just make sure you're figuring this out first. And if you want to go to marriage counseling and do all that fun stuff. Well, no, it's not fun. It's stressful. If you want to rebuild this, this, this relationship with your ex or the person that you're with right now, right now. Then please do what you can. Exhaust all avenues so that you don't have the what if. I would never ever recommend someone breaking up the family, breaking up a marriage, if there's still something there. Marriage counseling, taking a little breather, uh, yeah, break, um, you know, maybe uh, moving apart, living apart for a little bit, maybe that can help. Um, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever it takes to revamp your marriage or your connection, even if you're not married, whoever you spent your most of your time with. Whoever you go home to, uh, try to make this work, of course. But I feel like I'm just barking up a tree. Because I think some of you are like, nope, I don't want this anymore. This, I know I can't thrive here. So I'm just confirming what you feel. You already know that this is a connection that you're. I think you're done with. You too much pain here, perhaps. Uh, your person might, probably doesn't open up to you. They probably keep everything hidden, so it, it makes you feel like you're in this connection alone. So if you feel like you really, really have exhausted all avenues and you tried your best, you voiced your heart, you voiced your opinions, your concerns, and your person voiced theirs, of course, then maybe you guys can come to a mutual understanding that you guys are no longer compatible. They're, you have changed, both of you. <clears throat> you have grown apart. Now it's time to move on. No holding each other back, no pulling each other back, no stopping each other. Let's both be happy separately. If you can do that and heal, of course, work on yourselves, then you, I can see you, you know, eventually after all this really connecting with someone else. This person might come into your life while you're dealing with this, but maybe as a friend. Because, like I said, they're not going to be about you still being married or still dealing with the ex. They're probably just going to be a friend. 
two of swords, you're going to have a decision. Do you entertain this new person or do you work on your, your relationship that you, you're currently in? Um, don't just leave this person for the new person. Don't do that. It's going to backfire. Um, you have to heal first. Have that in-between healing. Do it for yourself. Don't do it to go somewhere else. Do it for your own uh, well-being, for your own heart. And I can see you really being in love with someone new in the future. In the future, seriously. What's the advice here? No, I don't want to pull these cards. I'm going to use my teddy bear wisdom. Advice, give without expectations. Okay. How number three, advice for this connection. <clears throat> Start your own tradition. This is like you just... You coming out of this and you starting your own life by yourself, your own routines, your own, uh, doing your own laundry. If you have children, raising your kids by yourself. Of course, sharing parenting, of course, but I mean like you in a household by yourself. Apologize like you mean it. Maybe you need to apologize or they're needing to apologize to you. Ordinary beings can do extraordinary things. Know that you are amazing. You are powerful. You are beautiful. You're strong. You can do this. Last one. Gossip dims your lights. Just keep your, your plans to yourself. Your exit plans. Whatever. Whatever plan you have, keep it to yourself. Silence. There you go. Silence is very sweet. Work in silence. No, don't let this person know what you're up to. Because you this is a personal decision and you don't want to be talked out of it. And simplify your life. Look at that. That this is keep it simple. No more drama, no more headaches. And teamwork makes the dream work. Also, you have commitment here on the horizons. See, with someone new. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If this resonates, then awesome. If not, then awesome. Personal readings are uh, linked in my description box. I have my Etsy personal reading link. And I also have my email if you want to contact me for more information. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. This is a teddy bear wisdom for sale on my Etsy and eBay shops. There, it's going to be out, out of stock soon, and we won't be refilling it. That's it. You won't see it anymore. So if you want it, check it out on Etsy. Bye-bye.